The misrepresentation error is one of the most frustrating things when it comes down to Google advertising for your e-commerce store. With the strategy that I'm going to explain in this video today, I'm going over all the things that can cause the misrepresentation error in your Merchant Center account as well as on your website. We are going to find and solve them in this live audit. In the strategy we are going over today, I'm going to teach you how to analyze your Merchant Center account as well as on your website to find and fix the potential issues that are causing the misrepresentation error. The strange part of the whole story is actually that Google is never going to tell you anything what is causing this error in your account. This results in big and small entrepreneurs losing their revenue and profits literally overnight. I personally fixed more than 300 merchant centers that were facing the misrepresentation error before. Watch until the end of this video because I'm going to provide a full live checkup what things can cause the misrepresentation error in this live website. Without further ado, let's go. So the website we are going over today is called Light Olor. And here in the Merchant Center, you can see that they are currently facing the misrepresentation error uh, as their products are not showing in the United States uh, for all visibilities. So we're going over to date on the website to check all things that can cause this error, right? So the first step is always to go to the navigation menu. So I see here the navigation menu seems pretty solid. But as soon as I click, for example, on the search icon, actually nothing happens. Only when you hover over it and you start to search, so that's one thing you want to uh, fix for the misrepresentation error as well because the navigation menu is very important into navigating the potential visitors on your website and transform them into clients as well. So the first thing that we need to realize as well is that Google always wants a good experience on your website uh, for potential clients, right? Because they earn more for advertising and they provide you with the sales so you're going to spend more for advertising. So the first thing we always check is the navigation menu. Uh, the navigation menu seems pretty solid as of for now but the only thing i found that if you press the search icon right here actually nothing is happening so you only need to uh, hover over it and search for that so that's a potential thing that needs to be fixed right so then you always need to check these buttons i already did so uh, so they're working uh, properly uh, important to know is that this website offers free shipping for all orders as we just saw and the delivery time should be around seven to ten days as they say so that's important to understand and uh, remember for later on in the video as well. So when we scroll down a little bit here, we see two categories uh, here with five products and here with 21 products, which is solid. Uh, we scroll down a little bit. Always check uh, all bottoms right here to save you some time. I already did it and they are working, but make sure to check that in your own account as well. So when you scroll down a little bit, uh, we are checking the guarantees as well, free shipping and 30 days money back. So that's what we are going to check in the next step for the policy pages. Uh, as of right now, it all looks very good here. Uh, this is definitely enough body for the homepage uh, for Merchant Center, right? So then we are going over the footer as step number two. Uh, in the footer, you need to have everything that all the visitors need to know about your website, right? So we see here on the left side uh, in the quick links that they have all policy pages implemented here. So that's pretty solid. Uh, here they have something about uh, their website. Uh, here they have the categories, which is very nice. And then the store details. In my step-by-step -step, uh, unblocking guide, you can copy and paste my framework, uh, which you can implement in your footer right here. And there you need to have at least your business details, your address details, and so on and so on. So definitely go to the link in the description uh, where you can get my uh, premium framework. And there you can copy and paste the templates, which I have. Because here is some information missing. We don't see the business uh, name. We don't see any business registration number or tax number. So that's all very important information, what you need to mention as well uh, in your Google Merchant Center and on your website as well for potential visitors, right? So Google is definitely checking that on a daily basis. So every time the products are synchronized, they are crawling your website to see this kind of things. Then important to know is also check all links and buttons you have in your footer and on your homepage and everywhere on your website as well. Because for example, if we go to YouTube here and TikTok, we can see here the account is working as well. And we can see here the YouTube account is working as well. So that's very good. Uh, but make sure to check always all buttons and everything on your website because it needs to work. Uh, the other thing I was checking here is that the contact page is missing here. I see it's in the 
uh, header navigation menu, but I see it's missing in the uh, footer navigation menu. So that's definitely uh, something that needs to, to be added. And I would also uh, implement a hyperlink for um, the email right here so people uh, can click on it and it will open their email uh, straight away. And the same for uh, the phone number as well. So these are very important things that are currently missing uh, in the footer. And as well, you can see that they're offering a few payment methods which uh, need to be synchronized with the offer uh, for the methods in the checkout, right? So we need to keep in mind that they are currently offering this kind of checkout payment. So we need to check that later on. So then we are going over a product page, for example. Uh, so here we go to the product page. Uh, we need to check if all uh, icons are working right here, for example, because sometimes it happens that someone forgets to link any uh, link right there. So then it's not working. But as of right now, uh, I see that this one is not really working the mail too so that one needs to be fixed as well but the other ones seem to be working very fine so go back to the website here uh, they say the delivery is 7 to 10 days which is nice uh, that's stated as we saw previously on the home page as well so when we scroll down a little bit uh, i also see by the way that they implement a badge uh, in the photo with the logo and that's absolutely not allowed in the merchant center uh, the first photo that is also going to show in the shopping ads uh, need to be absolutely clean. So therefore you need to remove all text or badges like this uh, and make a clean first image. So that's also something very important and that's what you need to have for all your products as well. So when we scroll down I see uh, they have some description here which is uh, proper for this product, right? So that's good. And the only thing what merchant centers really not liking is if you put images in the description because they use the description for keywords, but they cannot read any links in your description uh, that are pointing towards images. So I would highly suggest to uh, remove all uh, GIFs or images or something you have in your description and just implement it on the uh, pictures of the product, right? So that's definitely something to keep in mind as well. And also never talk about your service or any other benefits of ordering from you uh, in the description here, it's very important that the product description is for the product, right? Not for you. So that is very important to realize as well. So when we scroll down a little bit, we see a few of reviews, uh, which is okay. Like you need to keep in mind that if they are uh, like not created by uh, customers, by you, that, that can cause also some issues, but most of the time it will be totally fine. So then we go over one step further. So we go over to the cart page. Uh, we see that the cart page is displaying very properly. Uh, they have two buttons, view cart or checkout. Let me test the view cart. Okay, and then we see the cart page, all looks decent. Uh, here they mention free shipping, but they also mean, mention shipping options will be updated during the checkout. Calculate shipping. So that's a little bit like uh, different messaging here. So is it really free shipping or is it calculated in the checkout? or can you calculate it by yourself or like there is some confusion right here what definitely needs uh, an update right here if it's free shipping it should be zero dollar right there so that's also something something to keep in mind uh, while solving the misrepresentation error let's go to step number four uh, the checkout page right here so we see in the checkout page that they're offering the same methods as they mentioned in the footer so that's decent uh, we scroll down we see also this checkbox which is really important that the visitor agree with the terms and service uh, as provided on the website before ordering from them most of the time if you run on a shopify website uh, you need to implement the link to all your policy pages right here which is also very important because merchant center is going to try to order from your website they never they never buy from you right but they check if the process is going smoothly because otherwise people that they uh, guide from Google to your website have a bad experience and therefore they have less trust in Google, right? So therefore they are always checking these options. So for now this uh, checkout page seems fine. Let's go over and view a few of the policy pages. For example, the payment policies should have the same information as uh, stated in the checkout page, right? So to save you time, we scroll over it and I don't see any uh, too big things. I only see that, for example, uh, the email is mentioned here, but it's not in hyperlink. So make sure to uh, implement a hyperlink for your email and do the same with your phone number as well. And also if you mention here like 24 seven, it's kind of a trigger word. If your 
customer services open 24 7 you should mention it in the footer as well and mention it by the openings time uh, by day by day right so if you trigger the algorithm to say 24 7 you need to show actually that you are available 24 7 and also the merchant center sometimes try to call you with some robots or some bots uh, to see if your phone is actually ringing so if you provide a phone number here that's not working uh, you should consider to make it work uh, in order to solve the misrepresentation error so the other page we're going to check together is the shipping page right here so here they state the order processing is one to two days and i saw earlier that the shipping time that they have is seven to ten days so in order that will be like maximum 12 days right so that's very important to know uh, here they state the different uh, shipping times uh, to the other countries which is totally fine so that's all good for here let's go over the, to the return and refund policy all right this all looks good you have a 30 day uh, window to uh, return the items you always should mention that uh, people have 30 days from the moment they receive the actual package uh, at their door right so from then the 30 days will be calculated uh, as well as that you can send the packages back as we see from the website right here but there is no business name mentioned or any other uh, important name it's just a random address so make sure to uh, double check that for your own website that you at least mention the name of your website or your company name or something like that right so that's very important that you provide the full details as well and all this information needs to be in your merchant center as well so if you go for example to the merchant center right here you press the gear icon and you go to shipping and returns you need to make sure that the shipping uh, speed is uh, the same as in your uh, policy pages right so when you go over here to the pages um, where they implement the settings we should have the same information right here one to two days as they mentioned and seven to ten days so that's all right for now and for the returns let's see what they mention because they should have like a 30 day uh, return window and they have it here and it's verified so that's extra strong they don't need to fix that it's already verified so that's good for now so then we scroll down here you need to explain in your uh, refund policy like who is reliable for the damages and for the exchange payment so for example if the product is damaged during the shipping uh, the website need to uh, pay for that uh, and for exchanges or refunds um, the website need to pay for that as well but if the client want to exchange the product the website maybe need to state that the client is going to pay for that as well and for the shipping so then you have the faq uh, i see most of the time that people forget about the information in the faq right but this information need to be one on one the same as what you're going to mention in your other policy pages right so if you have uh, like 10 day shipping for example and you mention 12 day shipping on your faq then that's kind of a mismatch and that could be misrepresentation as well so this error is kind of the devil in the details we need to really scroll through the website to find everything so the F FAQ I checked previously seems all right as well. Uh, terms and conditions are here, which are all stated well. So what I also highly suggest is always to implement your company information and details implemented in all policy pages. So when people have questions, they have all information directly there. And it's very important for Merchant Center and for the trust to see things like that. And then they have a track my order page, which is uh, really nice for the trust in the eyes of Merchant Center as well. So that's all right. And then we go over the privacy policy, which also uh, needs to include everything, uh, what you need to mention for all the data you uh, implement, right? And what you use for your website as well. Then the most important page on your website, the contact page, I see that they didn't use the template, uh, what, what you can uh, access with the link in the description as well. There you can literally copy and place my proven templates on your uh, website, so you save time, energy, uh, so it will work straight away right so here i see they're missing a lot of information what i mentioned in the template as well such as company information uh, company registration number and other important information as well as the openings times so they definitely need a double checkup for that as well so that's very important here i see a bunch of ai photos like i wouldn't suggest to implement that on the most important page of your website right so that's also very important to consider as well so as, as we check the merchant center already uh, we see that we saw that the shipping and the return information is all right uh, but what is also very important here is you go to the business information and by the way you have uh, two merchant centers right now this is the original one and you have the merchant center next and if you have the merchant center next what you can see in the logo here is you go to the question mark and there you can switch back to the uh, original one as of for now 
So definitely do that if you want to have the same interface. So what we need to check right here is that they have the same business information uh, stated in the Merchant Center as well as on their website, right? So we see here that they have uh, the French street right here with Bat C. But when we go over to the footer, I don't really see Bat C. So they mention different information uh, in the Merchant Center here as they state on the website. It's also very important to uh, verify your phone number, uh, implement your contact. It's also very important uh, to mention uh, the customer service details right here. So make sure to do it uh, right here in the Merchant Center as well as on your contact page and in your footer, right? So these are very important things you need to consider as well. And therefore, if you go to feeds, you need to make sure that your feed is like free of errors. So if you go to diagnostics, uh, we see that they currently don't have any errors. But if you do so, try to fix them as much as possible uh, before going over a review uh, like this, right? Because you only have a few chances before you're going in a cooldown period. So you need to make sure that you know enough information uh, and fix as much as possible on your website before requesting a review and avoid the cooldown period, right? So if you need any help with fixing your Merchant Center, make sure to check the link in the description as well, where you find my step-by-step -step guide with all the information you need to unlock your account. And if you're not ready for whatever reason for that, make sure to watch the recommendation video where I go over another Merchant Center audit um, and find and fix potential issues on another example as well. I see you on the winning side.